Welcome into Duval Daily, presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thanks for tuning in. Got a quick update for you. The Jaguars, according to Ian Rappaport, have declined Caleb on Chason's fifth-year option, former first-round pick, pass rusher out of LSU. This really comes as no surprise as Chason simply has not produced at a high enough level to warrant using that fifth-year option. So 2020 first-round pick, He's had his opportunities throughout his career, has not done a ton to make a lasting impact, but he's coming off his best season as a pro in terms of how he performed when he was on the field for the Jaguars defense, but getting on the field was a different story for Caleb Von Chason in 2022. He only saw 120 defensive snaps for the Jaguars in 2022, his lowest total of his career, and he now enters what will be a contract year in 2023. Money can be a great motivator. We've seen that many times. He's probably third on the Jaguars depth chart off-ball linebacker right now. But there's competition on the roster for that spot with Yasir Abdullah entering the the fold. And I expect the Jaguars to add more to, to the edge rush via free agency. There's still a whole bunch of talented pass rushers available on the free agent market. And now that it's May 1st, the the free agents that you sign will not impact the compensatory pick formula, making it, you know, more attractive to sign free agents that that can add to your talent level, you know, after this point. So I expect the Jaguars to be fairly active in free agency moving forward. They have the cap space to do it. I think they have the need at edge rush, maybe still at cornerback as well. We'll see how it plays out. Either way, Caleb on chase on, he will be playing. For his next contract in 2023. We'll see how it plays out for him. Thanks for tuning in, Duval. Hope you have a good one.